ask you this, how would you describe yourself? Are you naturally positive or naturally negative? Are your decisions driven by faith in God or are they driven by fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of lack? Do you feel good about yourself or do you put yourself down and, and feel like a loser? Whatever your answer may be, this much is certain. The patterns and attitudes that rule your life were not formed overnight. And since they were not formed overnight, you can't expect an overnight cure. But you can make a start by meditating on and obeying what Colossians 3.2 says. It says, set your minds and keep them set on what is above, on higher things. The Bible refers to the Christian life as a walk. Ephesians 4.1 tells us to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called. 2 Corinthians 5.7 reminds us that we walk by faith, not by sight. Here's what Galatians 5.25 says, let us also walk in the spirit. And Ephesians 5.2 instructs us to do this, walk in love. What do all these verses have in common? The word walk. And for us, Walking is the slowest mode of transportation that there is. God doesn't invite us to fly with him, but to walk with him. Just put one foot in front of the other and keep walking day by day. Think about when you are the most likely to slip and fall. How about when we are learning to walk? Or we might slip and fall when we are in circumstances we didn't create and over which we have no control, like walking in ice and snow. How about when you feel drained or, or tired or even weak? Another time we might slip and fall is when we get careless and don't keep our eyes open and stay focused. Our challenge is twofold, adopting the right mindset to walk by faith and maintaining that mindset. Remember, if you seek God faithfully, he will help you to do these things successfully. God bless you.